disabled veteran is facing potential eviction after his home was sold at auction. You may recall we reported on the foreclosure fight last week and the suspicions that the VA was somehow involved in taking over the property. Eight on your side investigator Walt Buteau has confirmed those suspicions and he is back tonight with the update. Keith and Stacy, it took about four minutes to sell this Bradenton house in an online action on, uh, auction on Thursday. Now there's a connection to the VA as this disabled veteran wonders where he'll go if he's forced out of the home he moved into 20 years ago. So you just don't even use the upstairs? No. Disabled Army veteran John McKenzie can no longer walk upstairs, leaving him stuck on the first floor. But he claims when he tried to sell, he found out he was in foreclosure. You know, I didn't know who to pay. He tells me he was confused about who held his mortgage following several changes in the company's tied to the VA-backed loan and his own health issues. They've been out here pretty tough on me emotionally, for sure. My health, yeah, emotionally. McKenzie hired title researcher Donna Steenkamp, who recently filed paperwork to stop the foreclosure. But on Thursday, we watched as McKenzie's Bradenton home went up for auction and was sold for just under $335,000 to the plaintiff in the foreclosure case, the Secretary of Veterans Affairs. The VA still has not discussed what role that agency played in this foreclosure sale, but now this letter indicates the VA is indeed involved in the sale. In the letter to Steenkamp and McKenzie, the Tampa-based U.S. attorney says he is representing the VA and offers a warning about the attempt to block the sale, writing, I urge you to dismiss the action voluntarily and promptly before you or any other parties incur unnecessary legal expenses or other costs. The VA is supposed to be protecting the vets. In this case, they have done anything but. In fact, they've contributed to the other side taking John's house. Are you going to lose this battle, do you think? I hope not. Just show us. Show us that the VA paid for this loan or paid out in this loan. And they have yet ever to ever produce any evidence of that at all. No comment tonight from the U.S. Attorney's Office or the attorney in that foreclosure case. McKenzie also looking into other possible legal action to hold on to his home. Well, last week we saw the for sale sign right. in the lawn. Now you're talking the auction's been held and, and maybe it's over, but is it still listed? It is not listed right now, but a multi-billion dollar corporation based in New York was under contract to buy it. I'm told by the realtor that deal is all but dead and her company is withdrawing from the listing agreement. And of course, the eviction process could take a long time, so Mackenzie still has some time. Okay. And we'll see if he can work something out with the VA, obviously, they're the owner of the home yeah, at this point. Absolutely. Uh, thank you, Walt. If you have something you'd like Walt to investigate, you can call the 8 on your side helpline at 1-800-338-0808.